So I woke up this morning and checked my phone and looked on Twitter and immediately saw everyone freaking out because the full Euro Mountains map apparently leaked. And lots of people have been talking about this. The map looks very, very similar to Blackout's map. Obviously, I won't be able to show it in this video due to obvious copyright reasons, but it is comprised of all of the different fire team locations from Black Ops Cold War and Outbreak. On screen right now, you can see some recreations of the map from Kalanine over on Twitter, but what I will say is that it does look quite unfinished. There is a lot of empty space in between each of the fire team points of interest, where there's just large portions of grassland or woodland. But then again, that is very similar to the Blackout map. The design style for this map is very different to that of Verdansk. So since this image leaked on Twitter, VGC sources came out and said that they believe that Blackout 2 was apparently in production at some point in time and was going to be a part of a Black Ops Cold War but due to the success of Call of Duty Warzone that ended up being cancelled because the integration with Black Ops Cold War and Warzone was apparently never always set in stone. What I will say regarding these Blackout 2 rumours going around is that when Warzone released Infinity Ward and Activision said that it would apparently be the final Call of Duty Battle Royale. So if Blackout 2 was ever going to be a thing, it was probably cancelled way before Warzone released. And they managed to salvage the map to use in Fireteam and also Outbreak. However, I still think that this map was planned to be integrated into Warzone at some point in time, but was probably cancelled or delayed quite a while ago. After all, in the files of Black Ops Cold War, the Fireteam maps are referenced as WZ, suggesting that they may be a part of Warzone. However, Blackout's original name was supposed to be Warzone according to David Vonderhaar, but they then reclaimed that name for Call of Duty Modern Warfare's Battle Royale mode. I really, really do hope that we do see the Euro Mountains map in Warzone sometime later on. I do think that there is a lot of missed opportunity here, but the thing is the map is clearly designed for Treyarch's gameplay style of Black Ops Cold War. I don't think it really suits Modern Warfare's movement because the map is so open and wide and it doesn't suit that more tactical slower gameplay that Modern Warfare has to offer. Especially as I was saying there are a lot of wide open grassland and woodland areas that are just not really filled with much. Whereas Verdansk is very densely populated with buildings. There's not really too many open areas. And before Black Ops Cold War released there were some rumours by the insider Jeff Grubb over on Twitter in which he said Blackout 2 would return. So I think that Blackout 2 would was in production, I think that it was just cancelled quite a while ago before Warzone even released. A lot of people are under the impression that it was cancelled a lot more recently, which would contradict Activision and Call of Duty's statements, which I guess could make sense. They have gone back on their word in the past before, but from the leaked map, we do also see that there is the Blackout Tactical map. Now, this could have just been a placeholder, but yeah, this makes it seem like, yes, this was going to be part of a Blackout too. I wonder if at some point, they planned for when Black Ops Cold War would release, that Warzone would be split into two. You would have the Modern Warfare section and then you would have the Black Ops section and you could choose which Battle Royale to play but it's both a part of Warzone. So you could either play the Euro Mountains map on the Black Ops Cold War engine that is more akin to Blackout or you could play Verdansk on the Modern Warfare portion of the game. I feel like maybe at some point they planned on segregating Warzone in half half, but then realised it would probably be better to keep the player base all in one place and not segregate them. And maybe that was the original intention, but then they just got rid of the Euro Mountain side of things entirely. As you guys know, the Nuke event is going to be happening very shortly in time for Season 3 on April the 21st slash April the 22nd, depending on which time zone you're in. And after the dance gets destroyed, we are going to go back to the past to see a post-Cold War version of the dance. But even more evidence that Blackout 2 was probably not in production after Warzone released is that at the end of Modern Warfare's campaign, they referenced the fact that Verdansk was destroyed during the Cold War and was rebuilt after the Cold War. City's under evacuation. Alcatala's got complete control. This place was nice once. Well, it's not anymore. East and West rebuilt Verdansk after the Cold War. Hey, you didn't like that cooperation. Now they've got armor heavy weapons. 
So this pretty much confirms that a post-Cold War version of Verdansk was probably always originally meant to release to Warzone at some point. It's probably been delayed quite a lot, but it was always meant to be part of this Black Ops Cold War integration with the game. And this is why I think that if Blackout 2 was planned, that it was cancelled a long time ago. But I do believe that they have probably attempted to port the Euro Mountains over to Warzone, but I feel like they might have had trouble with making it play well on Modern Warfare engine, especially because there are swimming mechanics and there's a massive lake in Sanatorium for example and I'm not exactly sure how that would work in Modern Warfare's engine. They probably couldn't get the swimming mechanics to work properly because in Rebirth Island or Verdansk when you jump into the water you just instantly die, which doesn't really make any sense. I am praying though that we do see the full Euro Mountains map sometime in the future, whether they release it to Fireteam, just the entire map, instead of seeing a Battle Royale mode there could be some sort of multiplayer styled mode on a larger map or we could even see the full map introduced into Outbreak sometime later on. I think that would be really fun and would be a lot more open world. Alternatively, we might see it released to Warzone eventually but I have a huge feeling and a huge suspicion that it might be cancelled entirely but I'm hoping that it could end up releasing maybe to tie in with World War II Vanguard because the Nazi zombies have turned up on the Vodiano ship in the and that is why we are going to be nuking the map after it becomes overrun by zombies. And now that all of the Call of Duties are set in the same universe, I wonder if the storyline for World War II Vanguard, because we know that the next Black Ops Cold War Zombies map is going to be set in Berlin, as Valentina is unleashing lost Nazis from the Dark Aether. Well, if she is unleashing lost Nazis, they could escape from the Dark Aether in 1984 and overrun the world. And maybe that's how they could tie the Euro Mountains Warzone map in with World War to Vanguard as it might become overrun with Nazi zombies. And they could be on set locations on the map similar to Blackout. And maybe World War II Vanguard could have some sort of prequel element to Cold War Zombies the Dark the storyline showing what the Nazis were up to during World War II as they were sent into the Dark Aether and it could explore what was happening in between World War II and the 1980s preparing for their eventual return as time works differently in the Dark Aether so it would give the Nazis a massive one-up. They would have a lot more time to work with inside of the Dark Aether. So yeah, that's just one of my theories that maybe the Euro Mountains might release sometime later and it could somehow tie in to World War II Vanguard considering Nazi zombies are coming out of the Dark Aether. I am a bit disappointed that we are not seeing the Euro Mountains and I'm hoping that it's just been delayed and hasn't been entirely cancelled because if so, that is going to be a massive waste of the developers' time. I guess they are salvaging the maps in Fireteam and Outbreak but still, we're not seeing the full map and I want to see the full map because it is literally Blackout 2. Personally I think that Warzone is the better battle royale compared to Blackout because it had a lot of dodgy mechanics like armor but Warzone fixes a lot of the things that Blackout did wrongly and the mechanics of Warzone I think work a lot better but Blackout I personally like the map better and I think it had a lot more fun things in Blackout than Warzone. Warzone's a lot more boring and mundane in comparison especially because it doesn't have character quests. So I would love to see the Euro Mountains introduced into Warzone to spice it up. But that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in today's video. Share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're not here for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news and information. So anyways, thank you for watching and uh, bye.